What's good people? I hope you guys had an awesome Christmas and I hope you guys are preparing for New Year's and I hope you guys are looking to continue smashing your goals all the way through 2016. But as you see in the title, I'm going to be talking about a pretty hot topic which I think this has gone through many people's heads before so I wanted to share like kind of my experience in these thoughts and you know where it ended up. So firstly, I just wanted to talk about the reasons why I even thought about it. Why I even, why I even like popped into my head. Now the first time was probably about, a, maybe two, I think maybe a year and a half, two years ago. I was basically trying to blow up on social media. I was trying to grow my channel. I was trying to grow my Instagram and all that kind of stuff. And it just seemed nothing was working. And I was looking at these other people and I'm not going to name any names because I'm not calling anyone out. I'm not talking about other people. I'm talking about my own personal experiences. So all of these other people, they're getting mad views. They're getting like, you know, hundreds and thousands of subscribers within like months. And I'm like, flip sake like what am I doing wrong I'm putting out what I feel is quality information you know the people you guys that are watching you let me know that it's it's good information and stuff and I'm like well what is it and then I sat down with Naisha and yes yeah, I spoke to her about it and I was like these people are just like freaky big like they're just like constantly shredded like flipping massive massive gains and I'm just like fuck do I need to look freaky like these people just to get the same kind of attention if you get what I mean so then it was going through my head constantly 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 and I was like maybe I should just do it maybe I should just do you know one cycle it got to the point where I, I was researching everything I was research. I was like because I haven't got a clue <laughs> about any of the stuff so I was like researching you know um, what each thing does I was talking to other people people were like giving me information and stuff and I was like I, I had the guy's number on my phone I had the guy's number on my phone and I was coming so close to doing it because I was just getting pissed off with the fact that I felt I was being left behind because I wasn't like mutant looking because it seemed like that's the only way to get big on like social media and stuff and to be known in the industry and then I came to my senses I came to my senses and I was like you know me and Naisha want to have a kid does it really mean that much does it really mean that much this whole social media thing or are the people that I'm affecting at the moment enough for me and I was like you know my channel will grow my channel will grow my Instagram will grow I didn't get into this game for the fame <laughs> I rhymed a little bit but in all seriousness I didn't come into this game for the fame I, I, I wanted to just help people yes the more people that I can help the better but I prefer to bring it from an honest background so I'll take the slower ride if it means that I'm true to myself if you get what I mean and then the second time was like just recently just recently when I after I did the Grand Prix the English Grand Prix I placed fifth and they told me I was too big for men's physique. The way that they've set up the classic bodybuilding, to make weight for that, I'd need to come down another like two or three kilos. I don't know where the hell that would come from. Uh, I, I was flagging on the last one. I thought I was pretty shredded on, for the last show. So I'd, and I was like 86 or 87 kilos or something. I don't know where that would come from. And then they were like, oh, step up to bodybuilding. And I was like, the only way that I'd be able to step up to bodybuilding is if I took some shit so that started playing in my mind again <laughs> and I was like do I need do like why is it pushing me to this constantly and in the end I was like how much does bodybuilding actually mean to me well, I mean there are some people that it's their career but this is not my career bodybuilding is not my career bodybuilding is a a pastime that allows me to channel frustrations and energy into creating a physique that I've always kind of dreamed of, the kind of He-Man physique. So it's not essential that I have that, you know, that, that I compete in bodybuilding and, you know, be able to stand on stage in the Arnold Classic against like the heavyweight bodybuilders. That's not my dream. So I guess the whole point of this video is if you do decide to go down that route, which I, I chose not to in the end, make sure it's for the right reasons. Seriously, make sure it's for the right reasons. Don't just do it because you want to look like The Rock. I still want to look like The Rock. I said yesterday after watching a couple of The Rock movies, 
I want to get the tattoos and shit. I want to be hench like him and stuff like that. But I'm not going to go out and take steroids to get it. I'm just going to keep chasing the dream because, you know, that's the fun of bodybuilding. I, that For me personally, that's the fun of it. Chase the dream and see where it gets you. You know, just keep training with good principles, eat well, and just enjoy the training. You know, don't, don't dwell on it too much. If you are looking to compete in heavyweight bodybuilding and you wanna be against the likes of Kai Green and Phil Heath, then you're gonna to have to take that route. But is that the route that you wanna take? Is all I'm saying, is all I'm saying. So yeah, that, that's all I need to say on that. I'm gonna cut the video now, I don't want it to be too long, but Share your views with me, share your stories with me. Um, I'm always wanting to hear anyone else in like similar situations, that kind of stuff. And I'm always here to help. So yeah, let me know in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.